G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. I'm back out again today and normally I'd be over that way about 200 metres walking down the Bilbermud track. But I decided to do something slightly different today. I'm walking down Allen Road which starts uh, just down from the uh, Perth Hills Discovery Centre and I'm walking down to have a look at the airfield and at the same time there's another road that goes up that the Bibbleman track crosses over when I get there I may decide whether to walk up that one or the one after and see if I can find my way back onto the Bibbleman track heading down to the Boar Creek shelter but also along the way if I see anything suitable I may throw up the Goswell Kamek and what I've got in my pack today is my hammock gear top quilt and hammock gear bottom quilt or under quilt or under blanket all three of their names are names for the same thing but it'd be nice to see how it works with having the pull outs and just to find out whether I'm going to need to I have the pull outs at a more of a downward angle than an outward angle to make it work because I have used some under quilts on a couple of hammocks with pull outs and it's prevented the under quilt fitting the best so there's been a couple of cold spots whilst using that hammock and the under quilt with the pull outs so I'm going to have a play with this as long as I get a chance because it is raining at the moment but that's okay I've turned up Allen Road as I was walking down I noticed this track to the right and it's going uphill so I'm hoping it takes us to a point where we can look out over the dam over the Mandarin Weir and there's no signs here saying no access like there is on a lot of roads so hopefully we might get some nice views I don't find somewhere to put the hammock up too. Wouldn't that be nice that's laying in a hammock looking over the weir? Forecast for today is 30 degrees centigrade and it's overcast and we're being in light showers. So it's humid today. Here's the politest way of putting it. So even before I started walking I could feel myself getting a bit clammy but it's worth it. This section through the bush over there I could just see the weir so I'm hoping if I carry on down on the other side of this hill now I'll be overlooking the actual dam And it's nice out here, really nice. It's just beautiful.
I don't know if you can see it there on the video, but there's the track. So I'm hoping the track over the back here I've been walking down will take me around and down and let's see if we can find a couple of trees beside the water. I don't know if you can see the view behind me, but I've taken probably 30 or 40 steps away from the edge and I found two nice trees with a nice view going straight over. So I think I've found the spot. Then next time I come out I'll come back down the same track and I'll follow it all the way down. But I can't not stop here, it's just beautiful.
As you can see, I set up the ridge line first for the tarp, just in case it rains. It has tried a couple of times, but nothing serious enough to warrant putting up the tarp at the moment. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead, I'll get the under quilt out, and we'll see how it fits. Well, this is the, the hammock gear under quilt down one so it would go a lot smaller but it didn't need to in the pack today I think the only thing missing out of my pack for a three or four nights out would be a change of clothing all my wash kits in there my toiletries and my top quilt bottom quilt everything uh, like I said there's five days worth of meals in the side pocket as well and I've got three litre water bladder inside and I've got my one litre canteen bottle yep just one of them on one side I normally carry one on each side of my pack but let's see how this goes Last time I used the under quilt was on the smaller hammock, it was on the torrid jungle hammock. So that's why I've had to adjust it so much at the moment. I'm just checking because the uh, under quilt and the hammock pull outs coincide at the same point. So if I was feeling my head on the left hand side, I'd get the view and my feet over on the right hand side I'll pull out the right hand one at that foot end and the left hand one at the head end and hopefully they'll hold the hammock in a nice position on the under quilt Give it a go, I'll do it back to front. I'll put my head where my feet are going to go just so we can see on the camera easier. And for those of you who haven't seen any of my previous videos, this is the Gossalk Hammock Frontier Gear. You know what? This is going to work. Long day to try a under quilt out, it's so warm. But yeah, that, that's going to work really well. Let's show you what I've done. So here we go, we've got the, the D ring on the under quilt and a D ring on the hammock. And as you can see, they, they line up, which is very, very good, very useful, makes it a lot easier. And you can see there, all I've done is just tied a knot with some paracord for now, but if I just get a small carabiner and hook it through them, that'll hold it in place. And that's right up on where the sh my shoulder will be going. Even though this is the foot end, I've got the he head end set on either side. And here we are, I've done the same on this side. The D-ring of the underquilt 
and a D-ring of the hammock. Now you can see this is from the company called Hammock Gear and it's an incubator range and it's uh, 20 degree Fahrenheit so that's around the minus 6 minus 7 degrees centigrade so at 30 degrees centigrade today it is a bit too warm so between now and next winter Australian winter that is I'll save up and I'll get myself a 40 degree which takes you down to about plus 5 which will be just right for the Australian bush in the summer But the label on these under quilts, I'll let you know now, that goes on the head end. So you know because they are cut slightly, the baffles at the bottom end, the foot end are uh, wider, I think they are. There's not as many baffles. Yep, the bottom end is less baffles but wider. And the top ends, the baffles are closer together, which means it's holding more of the down around your body where you actually need it more. And as you can see, just here is where them D-rings are and it's holding the quilt right up on my shoulder and I'll be doing the same down at the other end, wrapping it around my feet but look at that view out there that's what I'm looking at now just laying here relaxing coffee Do you know what I have found? No matter where you go in the bush in Western Australia or wherever I've been, there's always ants. Another reason why I prefer the hammock. And some of these buggers got a, a bad bite on them and they won't let go. I'm glad I've come out today and not gone the normal way. It's a 
a nice little setup here. So we've got the two decent trees with no widow makers above it. We've got the view that way. We've got the track going that way, a bit higher. But we've actually got a rocky boulder, a rocky outcrop, what you want to call it, hiding us from the track. So, maybe a potential wild camp or a stealth camp. And there's one of those ants. <laughs> Make you realise how big they are. They're actually, some of them are bigger than the nail on my thumb. And these aren't the big ones. Some of the ants here, they're about one inch, and some are a bit bigger in length. So, yeah, they can, not careful, they'll pick you up and carry you off in the night. Move your camp for you. It's only a joke. And let's get back, this is just a nice little spot even with the ants. Being up off the ground there, the view. Far enough away from the actual uh, dam back there to not contaminate it. Yeah, I really do like this. I, I might come back just for even if it's just for a couple of day hikes and just spend the day here. I think if I'd gone up the Bivelman track, I noticed on my way that there was probably saw about nine or ten people with their packs on heading that direction. So no doubt by now they'll be up at the Four Creek Shelter. Or if they're sensible, they've stopped at the Mundane Weir Hotel. Had some tucker and a couple of beers like I did. The trouble is you're going for one beer, and it's because it's nice and cold. You end up having to have one, two, three, maybe more. And then when you attempt to walk the rest of the way, you don't want to. But I did. But yeah, this is nice. There's less people around. So hopefully it's like this when it's the school holidays when everywhere else is busy I can escape to here and like I said I'll, I'll come back next week or sometime in the week when I get a chance and I'll follow the track all the way see if it takes us all the way down to the water's edge and see what we've got there see if it's potential of just putting the hammock up or just getting the stove out and the chair and making a coffee and just relaxing for a little while I'm happy with the underquilt, the way it fits onto the goshawk hammock. If them uh, and D-rings, they, they align. They're probably about a quarter of an inch out. But for two different companies and two different products, and they're that close, and like I said, all I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a couple of carabiners, just some small ones, some non-load bearing, which will be more and strong enough to hold the underquilt and the hammock in the same spot, and that hold the underquilt in place. And I'll be honest with you, that's, this is the first hammock of lead in with pullouts on, where it's worked so well. So I've got, I've got. Oh, another two hammocks, three hammocks you pull outs on. They're nice hammocks, they're comfortable hammocks, don't get me wrong. But this one, one, I like the colour, so there's one point to it. Two, it's got a built in bug net, there's a second point. Ridge line, three points. Ridge line organiser, four points. Now then, D rings that line up with the underquilt. Five points. Yeah, that's. I think this this one up to this point has got the most points. So I'll I'll let you know after I've spent a few nights in it. And like I said before, that won't be for another probably four or eight week uh, eight weeks. The end of March, April. But I'm looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to it. I think the next bit I'll be doing is the North Bannister 
drop off there and walk up to the Swamp Oak shelter and then there'll be a three nights from the Swamp Oak shelter to Dwelling Up Town. I'm hoping to get out for one night before then to do some filming at the top of the uh, Bunnering Hill, do an overnighter there, film the sunset and the beautiful sunrises we get here. And let's see what it's like. Let's do a, a wild camp there, shall we? This is a 20 litre stuff sack. I've also got my uh, under quilt protector in there to protect it from any splashes of rain and dirt. So we can actually compress a down under quilt. And this is the 750 fill, I think. Yeah, 750 down. And that's probably, yeah, probably get it down to about five to seven litres size there without compressing it all the way. Now I don't need to compress it all the way because I'm just going to squash it in my pack. Because I've got plenty of room for it.
let's head back up onto the track. on the track now so the next time we come up we'll head up the track there I think it goes up and it comes back down all the way to the water's edge but now we're heading up that way there you go And I'm pretty pleased that the under quilt fits on as well as it does. And having them D rings on either side that near enough line up, that's going to make it a lot easier to set up each time. I'm finding that spot overlooking the actual dam. That's just, that's just beautiful, it is. I'm going to have to start taking different tracks each time I come out or every month go search for a new one just so I can keep a list of places I can go places I can put the hammock up and places I can take you guys to have a look I hope you've enjoyed the video and if this is the first time you've been to my channel please go down below and click on the subscribe button click on the notification bell next to it so you can be notified of all future videos and click the like button and to people who have already subscribed to my channel again I thank you very much it is much appreciated so until next time get out there have some fun and take care